Brianna's, Sophie Skelton, journey through the stones back to the 18th century has been dark and trying on Outlander. On last week's episode, even though she reunited with her love Roger, Richard Rankin, who followed her into the past, she was later raped by the sinister Stephen Bonnet, Ed Spillers. This Sunday's episode titled, The Birds and the Bees, Brianna finally finds who she's been searching for, Jamie, Sam Hewen, and Claire, Katrina Balfe. Stars confirm that the college student reunites with her parents and follows them back to Fraser's Ridge. Season 4 of Outlander is well underway and yet it seems like things are just getting started in this week's installment, Wilmington. We last left Brianna, Sophie Skelton, and Roger, Richard Rankin, as they set sail for the New World in the 18th century. This week, fans were shown what happened when they landed in America, where their paths are headed and the brutal place America was in its early days. Below we're breaking down every big moment from the pivotal episode which featured a wedding, emergency surgery, and an unfortunate agreement. Kicking things off in 1769 Wilmington, Roger continues to search for Brie after she ventured into the past without telling him. In the middle of his search, he ends up crossing paths with the printer of Jamie, Sam Hewen, and Claire's, Katrina Balfe, future obituary, the reason for Brie's journey, but the date on the obituary is smudged. When the printer notices Roger's frustration and asks what's wrong, he asks the man if he's seen Brie, showing him the portrait they'd had done at the Scottish festival earlier this season. Just as Roger's about to depart the printing shop, he comes face to face with Fergus, Caesar Domoy, unaware of his connection to Jamie and Claire. Later we see Roger sitting at a tavern table drinking a pint and clearly losing hope. That is, until he hears Brie's voice a room over. She's looking to travel through Cross Creek to find her parents. Jumping up, Roger greets a shocked Brianna and at first their reunion is happy. However, they quickly have some issues to address with each other. Brianna angrily tells Roger that his journey to the past wasn't part of the plan, while Roger has his own grievances for her leaving without warning. Brie explains she didn't know what to do or where they stood after they last spoke. I didn't know how to tell you I loved you she admits. All the while, Bree's servant Lizzie, Caitlin O'Rean, notes the rough tone Roger takes with Bree, and it's clear she's concerned about her friend. Upon hearing Brianna loves him, Roger pulls her away to kiss in a quiet Wilmington alley. When it's clear things are heading in a certain direction, Bree stops Roger and asks if he feels differently about their relationship, and if marriage is still on the table with him, something she wants to know prior to sleeping together. Roger confirms a wedding is what he wants and they proceed. So the couple sets out a blanket and lights a fire for their hand-fasting ceremony, a version of marriage customary to the time. It's there that they exchange promises and vow to love each other forever. Upon pronouncing each other man and wife, their first kiss as spouses turns passionate and they consummate the relationship. After that, Viewers are offered a little bit of pillow talk in which Brie remarks that she's never been so happy. Brianna then talks about her parents' obituary saying she knows that there's time to save Jamie and Claire, but since the date on the paper was smudged, she doesn't know for sure. When Roger agrees with her theory, Brie asks him how he'd know about the smudge because she discovered the obituary herself. This move gets Roger caught for not telling Brie about her parents' demise and they disagree about what the right move would have been. 